FIFA faithful Bear Hams here with episode 39 of U Squad Gods with Northampton Town. Starting off the episode, we have a player customization brought to you in part by Rodolfo Gaming, and his customized player was Bruno Eduardo IE. Reason why I had Rodolfo customize him was because he was originally from FC Porto, and Rodolfo is a huge fan of that club. So we'll get into the customization here. We have blue and yellow boots. Uh, the sweatbands are green and red to represent the great country of Portugal. And then he wanted a tight t-shirt untucked and the number 14, which means Goody Shram will have to change his number to 29. So that is the player customization for Bruno Eduardo Aie. I did play two games off camera as we did play at Watford 2-0. That was a quick, straightforward game. And then Crystal Palace, we were down by one, but then uh, we came back. Goals by Federico Aguilar and Jack Novak gave us the lead and eventually the victory. So now we are sitting on 10 points in five games, which is a crazy start to the season so far. And we're going to try to continue that, though it's going to be a little difficult as we do face Arsenal and Chelsea in the league. And then for a Carabao Cup match, we face Cardiff City. I was looking at the stats of Aguilera and Van Huydonk, and to my surprise, they are exactly identical. They've played seven games, and they each have four goals and an assist. And even crazier, each have three goals in the Premier League, and they also have a goal in the Europa League. So while I was talking to you about that, looks like Wilfred Zaha, who uh, took a quick trip from Crystal Palace to Arsenal gets the Gunners on the board with just six minutes to start. <laughs> and this might be a long game, boys and girls. Oh, that is cool. All right, I don't know if you could hear it or not, but when Zaha scored, I think they actually had his goal chant, which is actually a pretty good chant. There's Hui Donk with the shot. That's going to go harmlessly wide. Since we do have two of the tallest people on the pitch. And, of course, it goes to the shortest one. There's a good block of shot. Oh, Piranha. Going for the acrobatics. That would have been one goal to remember. As there's another chance in the box. Header. Oh, and it gets cleared off the line. Aguilera could have had his fifth goal in all competitions. But uh, a very crafty... I think that is Alex Tellez. I'm not quite sure. Nope. Crafty play by the right back just to keep this a 1-0 game. And I was blabbering on about something. As now it looks like Sessignon's past Grant. He's going to cut that to Barco. And Barco will make it too. So the former Atlanta United Cam who uh, made his way to North London, puts Arsenal up by two. And this one is going to be a toughie to come back from. Dodd's counterpart, Grant, does make a good play on it. Oh, my God. They're just getting the luckiest of bounces. Oh, my God. Good play. Good play, Evans. Clear it out. Okay, there you go. Finally, Lund makes the save for the Cobblers here. As it looks like stoppage time will be dwindling quite fast. Sessegnon to Barco. And that will be the end here at the six fields. Rusty start for the boys. Just couldn't get anything going. We did have a couple shots on goal, but wasn't compared to the two quick goals by Ezekiel Barco and company. As they will leave the six fields with three points in hand. And we just... Couldn't deliver today. Just couldn't deliver. Second game of the episode, the South Wales side Cardiff City make their way to the six fields. I didn't change the Cardiff City side because this is a cup match and they'd probably not have their best players as we clearly don't have ours out and about today. As, as you can see, Aaron Reed on the ball, Henry Martin, you know, a bunch of those guys. As Olkowski does get the start as he will be our cup captain. Liam Green wins the header. Maybe one last chance here for the Cobblers here as Roche. Pass to Martin. Martin will get it to Walsh, but uh, out of time. 
as the first 45 minutes were quite the barn burner. <laughs> Waiting for that run by Montandone. Won't get it in time. So he's down, hopefully not injured too severely. As there's a shot and there is a goal. What a screamer. An absolute screamer. And he's going to go celebrate with... Oh, they don't have Neil Warnock in the game. Oh, that sucks. That'd be fun just to see a 70-year-old man hopping and jumping about with his uh, players. But yeah, that hurts. That hurts a bit. Wow, terrible touch by Montan Down is now... Cardiff will have another chance on the counter. There's a cross in the box, headed straight to Garcia with another shot, and that is another goal. The Welsh side is really putting us out of this game right now is at the hour mark. Alex Garcia with a beautiful half volley right past Max Roberts. Couldn't do anything about that. And I think we're done here. Throws that to Montandon. Maybe something here. It's Montandon. Gets a cross far end. Reed! Yay! There we go. Aaron Reed in stoppage time. <laughs> Won't mean too much, but I feel a little better now just getting a goal. As that is a beautiful cross from Fabio Montandon. And right on the volley, it actually hits off the chest of a Cardiff player. Pipes it. And I don't know if they're going to give him the goal there. Yep, they will give him the goal. Aaron Reed will get a goal. I don't know which number of goals he's had on the season. So, yep, that will be the end of 90 minutes. We did have some glimmer of hope with that goal by Aaron Reed, but other than that, Cardiff had us covered. Final game of episode 39. We traveled to Stamford Bridge, and we try to survive against Chelsea. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Stamford Bridge. Beautiful stadium, by the way. This is actually one of my favorite stadiums to play in just because of the uh, celebrations with fans, how easy it is to just run next to the stands and then just get a big old hug from a, a burly dude. It's uh, I like the experience of playing at Stamford Bridge. So now what can we do to stop this extremely overpowered side? Like, I think the lowest rated player on this side has to be an 85. Like, they've really built up this team. I mean, we have to go against an 88 rated Goretzka. And also Justin Clivert. Oh yeah, and Eden Hazard, just to name a few. I thought it had something to it. Oh! No! Come on, O'Neal! You gotta finish those! We are not going to get a chance easier than that against a side like this. All right, let's see what he could do here. No! Oh, and he actually put it on target too. Ah, oh, great save by Kappa. Oh. Too bad, too bad O'Neal had to miss that. That's two misses this half where we could have easily taken. Honestly, it should be a 2-0 lead right now. Prana's going to have to get it out wide to Grant. Grant will cut, finds Downing. Downing will find Donk. Donk through ball. McCutcheon, McCutcheon, McCutcheon! There we go. Our Scottish winger, our Scottish wonderkin comes in the clutch. Slips right past the Chelsea defense. And he has answered the call. That is his spot for the near future. What a play, Barry McCutcheon. There's a shot on. Oh, it goes in. Uh, yep, that was going to happen. That, uh... I thought uh, Lund had that more covered. So as I was controlling Hall, I was giving him a, just a little too much space. Good clearance. Just cleared out Donk. There we go. That will be the end to the game. Finally, we get some points in league play in this episode as we did get demolished by Arsenal. And we did lose to Cardiff in the uh, Carabao Cup. But... 
great performance by the boys, especially super sub Barry McCutcheon, who has just earned himself a starting spot after I gave him the challenge. And you know what? I'm going to stick to my word. Barry McCutcheon will be starting in that left wing role from now on as we leave Stamford Bridge with a point in our pocket. Taking a look at the table, even with our loss and draw, we're doing fine. Sitting in fourth place, three wins, two draws, two losses, with a goal differential of plus four. Again, you know, finishing the first two months of the season in that position is A-OK -okay with me, since the board only wants us to survive. And we're doing more than surviving. We are thriving in this league so far. So this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.